That's a topic I want to educate people on because omega-3 fatty acids are essential. That means that our bodies can't make them, but we need them. And 70% of the entire population is deficient in omega-3. And I'm going to tell you why they are deficient. And I'm also going to tell you what would happen if you started putting these omega-3s back into the body. And you can do it through several ways. Fish oils. Fish oil is one way. I prefer cod liver oil because it also has two additional things like vitamin D and vitamin A, both which are not in fish oils. You don't want to buy a fish oil based on cost because you're going to basically get rancid fish oils and they're going to cause more harm than good. And this is because fish oils are highly susceptible to being oxidized. But of course, the best thing to do is to consume actual fatty fish, sardines, grass-fed beef, organ meats, and even eggs. Now, I will mention about, you know, like walnuts, flaxseed, hemp, chia seed. Might say they have omega-3, but really they're precursors that turn into omega-3 fatty acids. They have something called ALA, and then that can convert into EPA and DHA. EPA primarily helps you reduce inflammation, okay? And a lot of people have inflammation, and you can have inflammation in the joints, so it helps with arthritis. You can have inflammation in the heart, so it can help with your heart. And then you have something called DHA, which is really good for your brain. In fact, your brain is made up of 20% DHA. Now, talking about the gray matter, the cerebral cortex, this is why fish oils are really good for memory, cognitive function, attention, focus, learning, 